Augmented reality for me has really been the part that's made me the most excited about all the camera work that I've ever worked on. It's the kind of magical feeling of changing reality into something different. The very first thing I did when I got to Sony is try to plug in a camera to PlayStation 2. There's, there's a lot of fun just to kind of move your body and, and interact with graphical things that aren't really there. And that, that really is what iToy Play is all about. I mean, iToy Play is pretty much an augmented reality game. But it's very location-based. You're like right here, you have to stand in front of your TV and do it. When you put it on the PSP, now you can move around and you can almost use it like a, a looking glass to see into a magical world. And I think that like the Invisibles game did a good job of that. The kids can kind of walk around and feel like they're seeing something new everywhere they go. Everywhere you can take your PSP, you can find invisibles. Walk around environments looking for the invisibles, and then you have to trap them. Every creature is different. So let's say it's a mosquito creature. You lay the trap down, and you watch the creature through your PSP crawling across, let's say it's your desk, and then you have to slap it in order to catch it. After you capture them, they remain in your PSP, and you can actually pull them out and hold them in your hand actually physically poke them. It's as if they were real, and to the user, they are real. With Move, we have a completely different capability with augmented reality because we have such a fast, accurate tracking system. We can lay things on over it perfectly. We can have little things floating above it. We can have things fly around it. You can do so many of those things, and you can do them in a way that really is seamlessly integrated with the video. So this is a brand new demo that uh, we were working on in our spare time just because we kind of were like puppets. So we have this guy in my hand and I'm controlling him with my left hand here and I can sort of flap his mouth using the trigger. And it's nice because it's analog and I can do all these subtle motions. Uh, with my other hand, I can actually control his hands. I can also control his facial expression. So because we have a bunch of buttons on the move, we can do a lot of stuff that's sort of, you know, not puppeting in, in nature, but more um, uh, defining different states of the puppet. So I can actually make him sad and kind of mopey. So with a combination of motions and these buttons, we can make him angry and lash out and yell at people. When you can combine these kind of really fine, precise motions that the move picks up, it has a lot of realism in these motions and that really gives the puppet life. With PlayStation 2, we started working on AR and it was really just very fortuitous that we could do these things together. You know, the PlayStation 2 had the hardware in it. But we learned a lot during those days, and now we are specifically designing things to be good at AR. So when we first started doing PS3 uh, stuff with PlayStation Eye, we finally realized you could actually do augmented reality cards. So for games like Eye of Judgment and iPad, that's the technology we use. That's why you really started to see the AR card technology begin with the PS3. Being first in the space is really exciting because this is like the first generation of augmented reality that we're seeing on the PSP. For the future, it's gonna be even more immersive. With the NGP, it'll remember your environment. It just creates a more of an immersion. Uh, the cool thing about NGP is now that it has so much processing power, we actually can do some certain algorithms that don't require an AR card, so we can actually look at the scene and use the scene as a card in itself. As you remove the need for a card, you know, then it completely is seamless. It really looks like you're looking at the real world, and then suddenly things are just extra there. I see us always being one step ahead of the competition in every way. I mean, we're experts in this, really great, new, imaginative ways of using augmented reality, and I think Sony is the one to take it to the next step. Mm -hmm.